NCIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled Math Magic Book 4 Textbook in Mathematics for class 4 Chapter 4 titled Tick 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 Part 2 Activity Time In one minute, how many times can you a snap your finger dash b skip a rope dash c jump up and down dash d you can also guess one more activity which you can do in one minute. Along with it, you also have to write how many times you can do that activity. in 1 minute write more such fun activities in this column here is another challenge for you how long can you a speak non stop dash b stand on one leg dash c sing ah uh, without a break dash There is a diagram given here of a boy and a girl. The girl is smiling and she is trying to balance herself on just one leg. In the other diagram there is a boy who is sitting on the floor. He is trying to sing ah without a break. How long do you take to A run a 50 meter race dash B collect 50 pebbles from the ground dash c count 1 to 100 dash here on page number 40 there is a diagram given of a turtle next to it a talking bubble is given it reads who is the winner page number 41 let's observe the clock again solve this one A The minute hand started from 2 How many minutes will it take to come back to 2 again Dash B What happens to the hour hand Does it also move How long will it take to move from one number to the next C Observe around you and list the activities that take about 1 hour to complete There is a diagram given here of a man trying to cook something in the kitchen. There are also five blank spaces given here along with option C. You have to observe around you and list the activities that take about 1 hour to complete. You have to write those activities in these five blank spaces. How long does it take to cook dinner at home? More than an hour or less than an hour. Ask your father if he can cook as fast as your mother does. Yes or no? Which games take less than an hour to finish? Dash. How long does a football match take? There is a diagram given here on page number 41. In this diagram two children are playing a game alongside a tree Children will enjoy doing activities to see all the things they can do in one minute Observing activities at home will give them a sense of time and also help them value the effort of others Page number 42 Rani's diary On page number 42 There are diagrams given of small school going girls of small school going girls and also along with them there is another diagram given in which Rani and her mother are given This is the story of Rani's diary Rani says Come let's go to see my new baby sister Ma I have brought sweets for Munia but She can't eat. She's too small. And she doesn't even talk. She will start doing all this slowly as she grows up. 
In the last diagram given here on page number 42, Rani's mother is given standing near the little baby's cradle. Rani's school friends have come to visit the little child at her home. Page number 43 January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. At the beginning of page number 43, the names of all the months in a calendar year are given. Rani says, I will note down in my diary when she first starts talking, eating and walking. Here are some pages from Rani's diary. The page on 5th March 2005 reads, Munya is born today. 15th September 2005 Munya got her first tooth. 10th November 2005 Munya sat up. 20th November 2005 Munya started crawling. 5th January 2006 Munya stood up. 5th September 2006 Munya ate a banana. 2nd February 2006 Munya started walking. Mark these in the correct order on Munya's timeline. There is a timeline given here on page number 43. The timeline begins with the date 5th March 2005. Along with this date, it is written was born. You have to mark the different occasions in Munya's life as per Rani's diary on this timeline. Munya got her first tooth in September. How many months old was she then? How many months have passed from March to September? Dash. How old was Munya when? A. She first sat up. Dash. B. She got her first tooth. Dash. What did she do first? 1. Walking or eating a banana. 2. Crawling or standing. Page number 44. Rani had a pet puppy. After two weeks, it opened its eyes. She watched it grow like this. There are three diagrams of a puppy given here on page number 44. In the first diagram, the puppy is very small. It is written along with this diagram. After three weeks, it got its first teeth and started eating. Along with the second diagram, it is written. After four weeks, it started walking around but was still wobbling. Along with the third diagram, it is written. It had a full set of teeth by the time it was seven months old. Along with the last diagram, it reads, After one year, it was a grown-up dog and got its own puppies. Now, make a timeline of this dog's life in your notebook. Know the differences between Munya and Rani's puppy. There is a table given here on page number 44. The columns of this table reads, Positions, Munya, Age and Puppy, Age. The various positions given here are started walking, ate food for the first time, got the first tooth. You have to fill in the differences between Munya and Rani's puppy when, when these things happened. Page number 45 Find out Do all animals grow at the same speed? Discuss about the growth of 1. A hen 2. A cow 3. A bird Draw pictures of the baby animal and the big animal. Here are the pictures of grandfathers posing for a photograph. Who looks the oldest to you? There are three diagrams given here on page number 45. In these three photographs, 
Three grandfathers have been drawn. In the first photograph, Elephant Appu's grandfather is given. Elephant Appu's grandfather is 95 years old. In the second one, Chuchu Rat's grandfather is given. It is two years old. In the third photograph, Rani's grandfather is given. He is 70 years old. How much older is Appu's grandfather than Rani's grandfather? Dash. Will Chuchu's grandfather ever grow as old as Appu's grandfather? Dash. How much younger is Chuchu Rat's grandfather than Rani's grandfather? Dash. This is a good opportunity for children and teachers to find out about the lifespans and growth patterns of different animals. The idea is to compare and discuss without having to memorize any such information. You were just listening to chapter number 4, part 2, titled Tick, Tick, Tick. Voiceover artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav. Sound recordists Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production by Shanu Muksim and Kusum Lata. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.